Is, right. your, is your mom still alive? My mom is still alive. Her kidney is working. She's 84 years old. She's um, she's she's doing well. We've traveled the world together in between all of this. There was not enough that I could do to repay her for the gift that she had given me, the second chance at life. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? So in the end, uh, at what point did you receive, briefly, your uh, your transplant? Uh, what year and uh, how have you been since then? I received my kidney transplant in 1987. It was January. It was like the 4th, I think. Um, my mom and I got on a plane the 2nd. The 3rd, no, me. Yeah, I guess it was the same. Maybe it was the fifth I had the surgery. Nothing up until that time had ever been said to me about about that being ever a possibility. Um, my family was devastated. People, you know, believe if it, if it wasn't happening to you, people believe that people didn't need a kidney transplant until like their fifties or something like that. Um, and as we came to learn during the whole process of preparing for a transplant, God, there were, there were babies that were one years old that needed a kidney transplant for whatever the source of their problem was. It wasn't the same as mine. But, and they would receive a transplant from their father being their donor whose kidney was much larger than a baby that's one years old. So how they managed to stick that into the kid and where they put that is still beyond me. I don't get that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, everyone in my family was tested to be a donor. They all jumped up and volunteered. My youngest sister was not tested because, because of the time she was still so young. My mother's like, you know what, you can't be the donor. Well, my brother and my sister were both excellent donors. And my mother also proved to be a good donor. And my mom said to the doctors at the hospital, and we went to the University of Minnesota because at the time, that's where they were having the best results in the country. My doctor said, in Chicago, despite all the great hospitals that are here, I wouldn't let you have a transplant here. You must go there. So I'm like, okay. I, got, I will say I did get great advice by most of my life from my doctors. Every now and then I needed to fire one or two, but that's another story. Um, so my mom told the doctors that if it was not going to adversely impact the possibility of the, her kidney working for me, she wanted to be my daughter. And the doctors did a physical check on her said you know what no you're fine you can be your son's donor and then what did we do we waited because back in those days they only gave you a transplant if your kidneys totally failed so even if you had your own donor and it was a family member you went on for months i went on for nine months waiting for my kidneys to fail, for me to be so sick that it was absolutely imperative that I had a transplant. And um, so that entire, I, I mean, the waiting was by far much worse than the transplant. I mean, you know, they give you enough drugs and they can do anything to you or sleep on the table, you don't know what's going on, you know? Mm. But, but the waiting part, all you think about is, is it going to work? Am I going to live? What's going to happen afterwards? Will the anti-rejection, how will the anti-rejection drugs affect me? Because they tell you 
the side effects of every drug that they're going to give you to enable you to keep this kidney in your body. And, um, the surgery was eight hours. My mom and I were wheeled into the operating room on two different gurneys, but side by side. Mm -hmm. um, she was holding my hand as I was being given my, um, uh, the, whatever drugs they were gonna give me to make me pass out, you know, mm -hmm. not any drugs. Mm -hmm. And um, eight hours later, I was in my room, my hospital room, and they were already making me get up and walk because they were paranoid in those days. And even in these days, that if you didn't, if you weren't upright and you weren't walking, that you would get pneumonia. That was even before the drug started taking its insidious effects, which take years really for that to become the case. Mm -hmm. but, okay, so I had my transplant in 1987. I never once had a day of dialysis, which is a miracle in itself. And Tony, I am the recipient of so many miracles. I mean, wow. I, 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 mean, I just know that to be true. But, so, you, so, so, you haven't had, so you haven't had any complications uh, since 1987 with your... Uh, well, people are told to expect symptoms of rejection and that rejection was common and that you would go back to the hospital and they would fix you up with more drugs or modify the drugs that you were taking or whatever to try to save your transplant or mortgage. They told me that my transplanted kidney whether based on all things being good would last 12 to 15 years so 87 97 202 maybe if i was lucky mm -hmm. and here we are 2021 and i still have okay. 34 Man. years and it's still working and it's i mean that in itself is another miracle the fact that it wasn't just 12 to 15 years but it was it's been 34 years and it's still working. In those days, they didn't do surgeries through your belly button. I mean, it was totally different, you know? So me, because I was so sick, eight days later, it was possible for me, for me to feel 100% better. But for my mom, they had to saw her in half from her belly button to her spine, and they had to break a rib in order to harvest the kidney out of her. My mom had five C-sections, so she was full of scar tissue to begin with, and they cut through all that. Mm. And so it took her, she was off of work um, for two months. Mm. And, and and it was, it was really, it was, really hard on her. She had no idea how painful and how difficult it was going to be, nor did she care. She, it's not like she ever threw that up in my face and said, you know, <laughs> not only did they cut her open once to harvest me, but then they cut her open again to give me a kidney, you know? She was not like that. 